All right, so in this video, we're going to cover skills three and four here. Uh, we're going to evaluate the logarithms by rewriting the expression in, in exponential form. Okay, there are some logarithms that you can evaluate um, manually, okay, without the use of a calculator, okay? In skill number four, we're going to evaluate the logarithm by using a calculator. And there, there are some that you just couldn't, you couldn't uh, evaluate log of 24 uh, with any real degree of accuracy without... Uh, spending a lot of time doing that or without using a calculator, okay? Uh, so let's look at these three first, okay? So log base 15 of 15, okay? So first thing we want to do is kind of understand, hey, log base 15 of 15 is going to equal some power out here, some exponent, all right? So I put a question mark there. You can put an X there, whatever you want to do, okay? So let's convert that to exponential form, all right? So we would say 15 to the question mark power equals 15, Okay, now using some real basic mental math, what power must be here in order for this to be a true equation? So 15 to what power equals 15, okay? Well, obviously that question mark there has to be one. 15 to the first power is 15. So again, some of these logarithmic expressions you can evaluate on your own using some basic mental math. Okay, uh, give B a try here. So we've got log base three of nine, okay? so. First off, let's write it using uh, an unknown here, a variable. I'm going to stick with the question mark. So log base 3 of 9 is equal to something. All right, let's rewrite this in exponential form. So 3 to that unknown power equals 9. So ask yourself, 3 to what power is 9? Hopefully you came up pretty quickly with the answer 2, okay? So if we were to evaluate log base 3 of 9, the answer is 2, okay? And finally here, log base 10 of 10,000, okay? So log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to what? So let's rewrite this in exponential form. So 10 to what power is gonna be 10,000? Okay, well 10 to the first power is 10. 10 to the second power is 100. You keep going. 10 to the fourth power would be 10,000. Okay, there's four zeros here. So that's why it's the fourth power, okay? Now, Calculators, you can only evaluate logarithms using a calculator if the base is 10. So this is a common log here, the understood base is 10, or if the base is E. So the natural log has an understood base of E, okay? I can't plug this into a calculator and get an answer because the calculators only have common logs and natural logs. So any base that isn't 10 or E can't be evaluated on the calculator. We're gonna learn rules for how to convert this to something we could use a calculator on if you can't use mental math, okay? But log 24, so I'm gonna use Desmos here for you guys. Logarithms are under functions over here. So it was the log of 24. Okay, so understood base was 10. So we wanna plug in 24, we hit enter, and we get 1.380 and so on, okay? So we get 1.380. I'm gonna to go to three places after the decimal, okay? All right, and that's approximately, obviously. B, the natural log of 10. Let's go back to the calculator here. So natural log, let's plug in 10, we hit enter, and we get 2.303, okay? 2.303, all right? And the common log here of 100,000, so we, again, there's no base there, we understand that's 10, so that's gonna allow us to use a calculator. So common log of 100,000, all right, and that gives us five, okay? Now, hopefully, you could have used mental math.